Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Thursday. So the topic for today is, it's not their responsibility. And it's really just a conversation I wanted to have with you today. Um, it's, some, it's a topic that has come up a couple of times for me recently in you know my discussions with other people. And I just, I wanted to share this with you guys because I think you know, everybody can benefit from some of the information and just that awareness. But before I get into it, um, just a couple of things I wanted to say. Number one, please like, subscribe, and share. Because if you get anything out of the content I provide, chances are someone else will as well. So share it with your loved ones, share it with your friends, um, and get that out there for other people who may benefit from it as well. Um, the other thing is, is that I am distributor for Young Living. Um, they are a essential oil company. Uh, they have really high standards and really quality product, which is why I put my name behind it and became a distributor for them. They do not sponsor me, um, but I am a distributor, which means I have the right to sell their products. So check out the link below because um, it's a product that I do stand behind. I, I love all the things that they have. Um, and I, I really think that their standard and their their quality base, their mission is a really good. So check it out after the video. Um, so now we're going to get into it. So the first thing I want to say is, is uh, we all have been guilty of those moments where we allow someone else to control us, someone else to um, determine how we feel. Okay. Like, Somebody cut you off while driving. Oh, they really pissed me off. Or, you know, somebody said something to you or looked at you sideways and I can't believe they're going to try this with me. You know, I'm not the one, you know, so we all allow people to have that influence on how we feel. Um, but it becomes a problem when you're looking at it from a relationship standpoint and you are not taking responsibility for your own feelings and how you feel. And what I mean by that is those times where we say, oh, he just wasn't making me happy. Oh, she wasn't giving me what I needed. You know, it's not their responsibility. Okay. The only person's responsibility it is to make you happy and give you what you need is you. Because if you're not capable of doing that, nobody else is going to. And we're not talking about your basic needs, like, you know, a house over your head or, you know, food on the table, things like that. We're, we're not talking about that. We're talking about those components that make you happy, that give life to you, that make you want to continue to live, that make you happy when you wake up in the morning. That nobody else can do for you but you. So what happens when we allow other people or we put that responsibility off on other people? Well, one... You're giving that person control over your life. You're allowing somebody else to determine what happens to you, how you feel, where you go, how your day is. Like you are literally relinquishing control to that person for how you feel, for how your day goes, for, for your emotional stability. Okay, number one, that's a lot to be putting off on them. And number two, they can't help you with that. You know, even the videos and things that I do, I put out, these are really just seed planters, okay? These are just things to get your mind rolling, get your mind thinking, and make you aware of what is going on. But even I can't make you happy. I can't tell you the magic formula to what you need to do to make yourself happy. The only person that can do that is you. So what I try to do is provide you with the tools on this channel and give you the ideals and the awareness to bring that forward so that you can make the necessary changes that you need to do. And what happens if you continue down this road and you don't do anything, you will continue to allow people to take responsibility for you and how you feel and where you go and what you do? Well, what happens is you start being very resentful. You get bitter. And from that bitterness and that resentment comes anger and depression, okay? So the more you allow somebody else to control and be responsible for how you feel, your emotional well-being, your happiness, your goals and your passions in your life, the further away <laughs> you get from being happy and having passions and goals and things in your life, okay? Okay. Because you're you're allowing somebody else to dictate to dictate that for you without you being able to do it yourself. And so it makes you angry. It makes you depressed. It makes you bitter and resentful and takes you so far away from the feelings that we strive to have in this life. So me presenting this to you and me us having this conversation is really just so you can become aware of it and try to make those changes. 
because it's not something that somebody else is going to do for you or provide for you. And sometimes it really just starts with the very basic of things, which is just accepting where you are right now. Okay, accepting the things that have happened right now, accepting the things that have happened in your past, because once you accept it and you know, you can't go back and change that. You can't, your, you cannot immediately do anything about your situation at the snap of a finger like that. Okay. You didn't get in that situation like that. You're not going to get out of that situation like that. Okay. It's going to take some time. But if you accept that this is where it is, this is how it stands, then it allows your mind to let go of those negative feelings and that negative energy so that you can learn from what, what you're presented with. Okay. So you can make those changes going forward because you already know what it feels like to be where you are right now. So now you get to learn what it feels like to be on the other side of that to where you're taking responsibility for you. You're taking responsibility for your actions. You're taking responsibility for how you feel. You're taking responsibility for where you're going to go. You are taking responsibility over your life. And is it scary? Oh my God, yes, it is. But is it exhilarating and thrilling? Yes, it is. Because now you understand you have a choice, okay? It ain't nothing like a choice, okay? (laughs) So just to recap on what what I just went over, One, when you allow somebody else to have those responsibilities over you and over your life, okay, it will, um, I'm sorry, (laughs) you will relinquish control over to that person. And nobody wants to relinquish control over their lives to somebody else. It's a miserable place to be. Um, So it's not a place that you want to do. And because of it, number two, you become resentful and bitter and depressed and just complete opposite of happy. Okay. You become unhappy. Okay. And then through the first step to actually getting beyond that whole point of being depressed, being unhappy, having somebody else's responsibility is to accept where you are right now. So do that, accept where you are right now and understand how this feels and what it is you don't like about it so that you can figure out what you need to change and where you want to go in the future. All right. So that's the message for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe and share and I will talk to you tomorrow.